dear friends welcome to the next problem of chems problem number 6 the data of the problem is like this draw the profile of a chem operating a knife edge follower having a lift of 40 mm and a line of stroke of the follower is offset by 10 mm from the axis of the cam shaft the cam raises the follower with simple harmonic motion for 120 degree of the rotation followed by a period of drag for 40 degree the follower descends for the next 120 degree rotation of the cam with simple harmonic motion again followed by a dwell period the cam rotates at a uniform velocity of 120 rpm and has a list radius of 30 mm what will be the maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower during the lift and return dear friends let us note down the given information here the lift is given 40 mm it is h is equal to 40 mm the cam rotates for 120 degree uh, while the follower rises that is phi a angle of ascent is 120 degree then dwell is delta 1 is 40 degree and then <coughs> follower returns for 120 degree of the rotation that is angle of descent phi d is 120 degree cam rotates at speed of 120 rpm the minimum radius of the cam is given rc is equal to 30 mm we have to draw the profile as well as find out the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during ascent and descent now let us calculate omega that is angular speed of cam it is given by 2 pi n by 60 that is substituting the values and calculation we found it is 12.57 radian per second now here during both ascent that is rise and descent that is return the motion is simple harmonic also the phi a and phi d that is angle of ascent and angle of descent are equal that is 120 degree so the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration will be same in both rise and return so maximum velocity v max is equal to given by h by 2 into pi omega upon phi a substituting the values here phi a is to be considered in radian so 120 degree is converted into radian by multiplying pi by 180 and that gives v max is equal to 377.1 mm per second and f max maximum acceleration is given by h by 2 into in bracket pi omega upon phi a whole square substituting this value again this phi a is in radian as we did earlier on calculation we found maximum acceleration f max is equal to 7110.5 mm per second square here for drawing the displacement diagram we have to consider the scale so for the lift we are considering scale is 1 is to 1 and for scale of rotation we are considering 2 degree is equal to 1 mm here the cam rotation during follower motion is theta is equal to angle of ascent plus angle of dwell plus angle of descent that 120 plus 40 plus 120 gives 280 degree and as lift is of follower is 40 mm and cam rotation is 280 degree for the displacement diagram we have to draw a rectangle of size as scale of the lift is 1 is to 1 that is 40 mm and scale for rotation is 2 is degree is equal to 1 mm so that is 140 mm so we are drawing 
a rectangle having size is equal to 40 mm by 140 mm. Now, to draw the displacement diagram, divide this rectangle into three parts. First is angle of ascent, then angle of 12 and angle of descent. And mark them by phi A delta 1 and phi T. Now, as the displacement is taking place is simple harmonic type, divide this angle of ascent as well as angle of descent into same number of equal parts. Let us say 6 and mark vertical lines indicating 6 parts. Similarly, do the exercise for angle of descent. Mark six equal parts and draw vertical lines. Now, as the motion is of simple harmonic type. Draw a circle with the center of the midpoint of the height and diameter is equal to the height or lift. Draw a semicircle with <coughs> center at the midpoint and diameter is equal to lift. Now, divide this angle of semicircle into same number of equal parts in which we have divided the angle of ascent. Here it will be of 30 degree. Now, mark all these points with number 0, 1, 2 up to 6 for angle of ascent and then again 6 to 12 for angle of descent. Here during 12, there is a no movement of follower. So we are using the same number indicating 6 for same location. Similarly, number 1, 2, 3 up to 6 for the division of the semicircle. Now, to locate the points of motion, draw horizontal lines from the point 1 on the semicircle which will intersect the first vertical line and 11th vertical line. We are extending this line up to uh, 11 because ascent and descent both are with simple harmonic type. Similarly, draw a horizontal line from the second point of the semicircle which will intersect the second vertical line and tenth vertical line. Same exercise will, we will continue for the point number 3 on the semicircle, point number 4 and 5 also. Now, mark the points where there is an intersection of horizontal line from first and vertical line from first 1 dash. Similarly, horizontal line from 2 and second vertical line 2 dash, subsequently 3 dash, 4 dash up to 11 dash. Draw a smooth curve passing from all these points starting from 0, 1 dash, 
थ्रू डैश अप टू इलेवन डैश एंड ट्वेल्व दिस गिव्स यू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द फॉलोअर मोशन वैन इट परफॉर्म्स सिंपल हार्मोनिक टाइप ऑफ मोशन ड्यूरिंग एसेंट एंड डिसेंट लेटेस्ट रो ए कैम प्रोफाइल सो विथ ए आर्बिटरी सेंटर एंड रेडियस इज इक्वल टू मिनिमम सर रेडियस ऑफ द कैम ड्रो ए सर्कल हियर दिस रेडियस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी एम एम अगेन इट हैज बीन गिवन दैट द नाइफ एज फॉलोअर इज ऑफ हैविंग ऑफसेट ऑफ टेन एम एम फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द कैम सो ड्रो ए अनदर सर्कल विद द सेम सेंटर ऑफ द कैम रोटेशन हैविंग रेडियस इज इक्वल टू टेन एम एम and then draw a vertical line on left side of the small circle which will indicate the line of action of the knife edge type of follower and that clearly represents the offset of the follower by 10 mm from the center of rotation of the cam now mark a angle of ascent uh, similarly mark angle of descent uh, sorry angle of 12 then angle of descent of 40 degree and 120 degree respectively now divide this angle of ascent again into same number of equal parts as we have divided the angle of ascent during displacement diagram that will be at 120 degree sorry uh, 20 degree 40 degree 60 degree etc and mark this division points on the minimum circle on the periphery of the minimum radius circle of the cam now draw a tangent from those point marked on the periphery of the cam circle to the offset circle that is small circle of having radius is equal to 10 mm similarly draw a tangent from the second mark point on the uh, cam circle to the small circle and do all uh, draw all such tangents from all mark points and number those points on the circle 1 2 3 4 up to 6 and that indicates the angle of ascent now draw a tangent which indicates the end of the dwell which is a, a next six six point on the displacement diagram now 
divide the angle of descent into same number of equal parts what we have divided in during displacement diagram and that will be again 6 at 20 degree 40 degree 60 degree and respectively mark all these division points on the circle and then draw tangents passing from that point drawn mark on circle and to the offset circle these all tangents indicates the line of stroke or line of action of the follower transfer this distances from displacement diagram to this tangent lines take distance 1 1 dash and mark it on the tangent drawn and passing from this point 1 on the circle similarly take distance 2 2 dash and mark on the tangent passing from So similarly take distance from point 3 3 uh, distance 3 3 and mark it is on the tangent drawn and passing from point 3 and do sub subsequently for all such points. Now mark these points subsequently 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash up to 11 dash. And draw a smooth curve passing from starting point that is steep of the follower to 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash up to 12. and such this gives you the final cam profile as been asked now again you are most welcome if you having any problem or query thank you friends and still you having a question you can write on the comment box i will like to answer